Yo, what's up everyone? Patrick here. Welcome back. And in this question, what we're given is this function x to the power of 3 minus 2x squared minus 9x plus 18 all over x minus 2. Got to go through these three questions here. So number one, we got to comment on the continuity of this function. And hopefully just by looking at it, you can tell that this function is definitely going to be discontinuous at an x value of 2. Because notice at an x value of 2, the function is going to be undefined because we're going to have a denominator of 0. Question is, what type of discontinuity is this going to be? Is this going to be a vertical asymptote? Is it going to be a whole, a point discontinuity or a removable discontinuity? So we've got to do a little bit more work. And the way we could figure that out is we can actually try to factor the numerator and see if any factors potentially cancel out. And notice that this numerator, in particular, we can actually factor with grouping. So notice that we can take out an x squared from the first two terms. And then from here, what we can do is take out a negative 9 from these two terms. And then notice from these two terms, we could take out an x minus 2. And so we'd be left with x squared minus 9. And then notice that x squared minus 9, it factors into x minus 3, x plus 3 like that. So this numerator here, it factors into this here. So if we take this function and we rewrite it, so in the numerator, I'm going to put this factored form uh, all over x minus 2. Well, notice now, at this point, these two factors are canceling out. And so what that means is that at this x value of 2, there's going to be a whole. And we'd be left with x minus 3, x plus 3. Right? Another way to look at this is that at this x value of 2, the numerator and denominator are 0. Right? Notice if we take this 2 and we plug it into the original function, we would end up with this form 0 over 0. You can see that over here too before we canceled out. This bracket would be zero, this bracket would be zero. And for the vast majority of the cases, if you end up getting this kind of form, it usually means at that x value, there's going to be a hole. Not always, but for the majority of the cases. So just to kind of expand on that, what I just said, like let's say we had instead a function like this where we had x minus 2 squared here. Okay, notice that an x value of 2, we would still have 0 over 0. We would be in this format. But in this particular case, notice that when we cancel out an x minus 2, well, uh, there's two of them here, so only one of them would cancel out. We would still be left with an x minus 2 in the denominator. So in this particular case, this would actually end up being a vertical asymptote because there's still that factor left in the denominator after canceling. So 0 over 0, not always it's going to be a whole, but for the majority of the cases, it is going to be a whole. Right? So what happens is at an x value of 2, the function is discontinuous because there's a whole or there's a point discontinuity or it's a removable discontinuity. Okay, different ways you can describe it. And basically the whole is happening at an x value of 2, and it's happening at a y value. You can actually plug in 2 for that simplified expression to get the corresponding y value. And if you plug in 2, you'd end up with negative 1, you'd end up with 5. Negative 1 times 5 gives us negative 5. So that's where the whole is happening. And you can actually graph this. Actually, we have to do that in number 2. So what you would do is you would take this and you would graph it. So it would be negative 3, positive 3. This is just a parabola, right? That looks like that. Okay, and then its vertex is here at 0, negative 9. But at the point 2 and negative 5, which let's say that's like uh, over here, there would be a hole. Right, so this function, if you took this function, put it into Desmos, you'd get a graph like this. So continuous for all x values except that x value of 2. 
and that's how the graph looks. All right, so number three now, what we got to do is we got to define a new function so it's continuous for all x values. So how can we do that? Well, what we can do is we can actually take f of x and create a piecewise function. So what we would say is that this value of f of x takes these values, so we can say x to the power of 3 minus 2x squared minus 9x plus 18, and this would be all over x minus 2. We would say that it's defined as this for all x values not equal to 2, right? Because for all x values not equal to 2, this function is going to be continuous. In fact, it's going to be that parabola that I showed you. The problem is, is that that x value of 2, there's going to be a hole there. So what we can do is we can just define a y value at that x value of 2. And the y value we want to define is negative 5. Right? And so now this function here is continuous for all x values. Because if we took this and graphed it, remember this simplifies to this. Right? So we would end up having a parabola. That's what it's going to be for all x values not equal to 2. And then, at, but what's going to happen is if we just look at this at 2, there's going to be a hole. But now at 2, we're defining a y value of negative 5, which is where that hole is located. So now we're, it's like we're filling in that hole. And now notice for all x values from negative infinity, to positive infinity, this function is going to be continuous.